Buju, Kinemagi Nene Ireland Edition Cast, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's episode, Chapter 9, Lesson 3, Subtract Like Fractions. And we found that we had to write each sum in simplest form. Seven and two is nine over 10. 13 and two is 15 over 16. Five over five is simplified to one. So if your numerator and denominator are exactly the same, it's one. This became nine fifteenths. Could be divided top and bottom by three, which gave us three fifths. 12 twentieths, you could divide top and bottom by four, gave us three fifths. And then five eighths plus one eighth is six eighths. That can be simplified to three fourths. These can be simplified to one half and two thirds. Four fifths of the items. Monday, eight twenty fifths, Tuesday, seven twenty fifths, Wednesday, five twenty fifths. The fractions in the expression one third and one third are examples of like fractions. So always remember to check the first page of a lesson for the vocabulary. And your test practice gave us an answer of two fifths. Looking at today's work, we're going to be subtracting. And instead of sum, we call it a difference. That's the answer to a subtraction problem. We're still gonna do it in simplest form. And we're still gonna have some problems come out in, coming out of a table. And we're still not going to subtract the denominators. Adding and subtracting the denominators, Gawin. Hopefully you got that. Our essential question in lesson nine, or chapter nine, how can equivalent fractions help me add and subtract fractions? Remember, I need equivalent fractions in order to be able to add and subtract fractions. So let me go into the portion that's not in your book. And how do I subtract like fractions? Very similar to adding like fractions. So let's have three fifths minus one fifth. And now instead of adding, I subtract. So three minus one is two. And I do not subtract the denominators. I just write it over here, two fifths. Um, that's already simplified. I'm good to go. Two fifths is my answer. So if you were successful yesterday, chances are you're gonna be successful today. If you struggled yesterday, please see me and I will be more than happy to help you figure it out. Rita has seven eighths of a pizza. She eats three eighths of the pizza. How much pizza does Rita have left? None, because I'm gonna eat her leftovers. So I subtract seven minus three is four and eight is my denominator. So I'm gonna keep that. Now I need to simplify. Four and eight have a greatest common factor of four. So I'm gonna to divide top and bottom by four. Four divided by four is one. Eight divided by four is two. So Rita has one half of a pizza left. Notice that this time I wrote it just slightly differently um, so that you're familiar with the fact that sometimes fractions are written at an angle and not always straight up and down. So let me go ahead and clear it. Let's get into the textbook. You should be on page 625. Just as a reminder, if you're watching this via video, when I ask you to solve a problem, I will give you a hint that I'm about to clear the screen. And that's where you may pause the video if you're still writing. When I give you a problem to do, you should pause the video, answer the questions, then unpause the video to move forward. That is intended to save dead air and save some of your time if you're moving quickly, but yet not be a problem if you are moving slowly. So example basic, just like yesterday, we have one way of models. So if you happen to be walking around with a pocket full of fraction tiles, maybe Miss Bickerman is. Fraction tiles back there, ma'am? Uh, yeah, sure. Miss Bickerman carries fraction tiles, why aren't you? About seven tenths of Earth's surface is covered by oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean and covers about three tenths of Earth's surface. How much of Earth's surface is covered by oceans other than the Pacific? So as you can see, they had the fraction tiles and they started out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and then we subtracted three, and that's the three that they marked off. If you were using fraction tiles, you'd simply just move them. So now I have one, two, three, four left. And they, so I now have an answer of four tenths, which is not simplified. I can divide top and bottom, the numerator and denominator by two, and I get two fifths. Go ahead and write that in. Make sure you're staying up with us as we wanna make sure that you have these artifacts so that you can look back on it when answering the questions. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear my drawing. Let's go to the other way. And the other way is similar to addition, except we're subtracting. Again, we keep the denominator. We never subtract it. No, Gawain, yet. I wanna learn a few other languages to just say no in. So seven minus three is four. And I had the four tenths because I don't do anything to the denominator. I divide top and bottom by two and I get two fifths. So I'd write that in and then turn to the page, top of page 626 already. Can you believe that? This year is just flying. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear those drawings. Example niche, and we have a chart here. Let's see if I can get it perfectly spot on for you. The table shows the amount of rainfall several cities received in a recent month. How much more rain did Centerville receive than Brushton? Right in simplest form. So first thing I need to do is I need to find how much rain they had. Centerville had nine tenths of an inch and Brushton had three tenths of an inch. Those are rookie numbers, they need more rain. So nine minus three is six and I do not subtract the denominator. So I had six tenths. However, that is not simplified. And anytime I have an even number on top and bottom, and remember your even numbers other than are two, four, six, eight, and zero, something ending in a zero, unless of course it is zero, then it doesn't count. All right, so now six divided by two is three. 10 divided by two is five. So three fifths of an inch more rain fell in Centerville than in Brushton. Brushton. Go ahead and write that in. You probably should have capitalized um, the city here. And apparently I'm writing in French as I put it C E N T R E instead of E R. Let's fix that up for you so I don't confuse you. Give you a moment to write it and then we're gonna practice a few problems and then we'll be assigning your homework. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the drawing. All right, on these, go ahead and practice them and then I'll reveal the answers. Give me pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Five minus three is two over seven, nothing to simplify. Their greatest common factor of two and seven is one. Three minus two is one. Five minus five, no, you don't. No, you didn't. You just write that five over there. Um, and anytime you have a numerator of one, there is zero chance that you can simplify it any further. Six minus three is three, three ninths. Three and nine can both be divisible by three. So we get one third. And if you want to think about a real world situation, um, how about I made some Totino's frozen pizzas. I divided each one in half and I intended to eat three, but you took one. So I only get to eat two fourths, which is a half. And I'm disappointed now, thanks. All right, just a couple more practice right here. Go ahead and do numbers four, five, and six. You may pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Five minus three is two, two six can be simplified to one third. Two minus one is one over three. Three minus one is two over five. Those are both prime numbers, nothing you can do. Let's bounce down all the way to number 13. 
finding the unknown. Now remember our rules that if we're about the denominator, and in this case, so five minus one is four, and that is nine, four nights. So find the missing number to make the, your difference one eighth, and then go ahead and find the numerator on number 15. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Six minus five is one, and three minus two is one. Six minus five is one, so you're good to go. At this point, you may move into the assignment. Remember to write your difference in simplest form. Remember to read your chart very closely. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Have a minute to get you guys. Meanwhile, I'm a P.